Hello everyone, so this is going to be look two of the Alicia Dixon Drummer Boy video inspired makeup tutorials. So I've just realised that they're both pretty much the same colours, it's just the way the liner's applied really that's the difference. So yeah, but um, to get straight into it, I didn't want to make my brows darker this time, so instead I just um, made sure that the arches were emphasised, so I used a slightly darker colour than usual, so I, I usually use the Clinique pencil in soft blonde and this is in soft brown so I used the blonde one and then just emphasized it with the brown and then on the cheeks I have got my old faithful benefit 10 highlighter and bronzer and my bobby brown shimmer brick in rose so you're just going to apply some eyeshadow base to the lid so I've got the Estee Lauder stay in place eyeshadow base and you're just going to apply that all over the lid all the way up to the brow and underneath I have literally just taken the last look off and started doing this one because I thought I might as well get them all done in one day. So again I'm going to use a MAC Gesso um, white eyeshadow. Again because the brow is more emphasised you want to make sure that that is highlighted well. And then I've got the Estee Lauder um, Stay in place shadow cream in ivory lace. So I'm just going to apply that to the lid. Main point is you want shimmer and something for the shadow to stick to. And again I'm going to take the MAC Vanilla and I'm going to apply that all over the lid where we've just placed the ivory lace. Give it gives it an extra bit of brightness and the shimmer still comes through. So next we are going to take a um, the Urban Decay Sin again, so there, and I'm just going to apply that with a blending brush into the crease and then blend up slightly. like so. Most of this is actually quite quick and simple, it's the eyeliner that takes the time. So then I have got my Gosh Velvet Touch Pencil in black ink again and you're just going to run that along the lower lash line. And then take a slanted brush or any kind of stiff brush and just blend that out so it's slightly more smoked and smudged. And you're going to want to take a black eyeshadow and I've got MAC Carbon and you're just going to run over the eyeliner with this just to set it in place and then drag it down slightly at the edge to make it thicker. I'm hoping you can't hear my next door neighbour's music. And then again, like with the previous look, you're just going to pull it out slightly at the edge here. And I'm also going to use the black eyeshadow to make this emphasis up here, just to map it out. So it's just going to be a light swipe. And you're going to have it then in line, as you can see, with the, with the liner. So now that that's mapped out, I'm going to take a gel eyeliner. I've got the Clinique um, True Black Cream Liner. And I'm going to line my lash line first and then go for the extra. So again, you just want to take quite a long, thick wing. Like that, and then pull it along the rest of the lash line. Just like that. So we're now going to do this 
um, emphasised part. I'm going to call it the crease liner because it is sitting directly in the crease. And I just want to make sure I've got enough on my brush so that it doesn't drag. Then I end up with too much. So you're just going to go over the outline that's already been made. come out nice and messy hasn't it so I'm gonna fix that in a minute I think it's because my eyes are slightly hooded Hello, so I've just realised that my camera had died right in the middle of finish, like correcting the eyeliner so I'm just going to walk you through what I have done since as this is my third attempt at trying to record this little bit of video and I don't really want to do it again and I'm sorry to say that but um, I fixed the liner here and I managed to apply a decent line I then used the liner again and brought it down slightly here and then using the white eyeshadow, I managed. Uh, I did a highlight here and put a highlight under the under the liner as well, which I must add I haven't blended very well. There we go. And then just apply two th two or three coats of any mascara. I used my Max Factor False Lash Effect as per usual. And then on the lips, I used Gosh Darling, as um, she's got a very nude lip in the video. And then for an extra bit of depth, I used the, um, as you can see, Bourjois 3D Effect Gloss, and this is in Beige Elastique, and that's just put on the top. So, yeah, um, this is the end of the second look of the Alicia Dixon Drummer Boy video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy recreating it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you could comment, rate, and subscribe, that would be really, really great. I really appreciate it. So until my next video, I shall see you soon. Bye.